Bed Wagner. I'm a personal trainer and fitness instructor at the Darien YMCA. Um, today I'm going to do a senior workout or light and easy um, for our seniors who are stuck at home in their house. Um, the equipment that you need is a chair, make sure it's nice and sturdy. Um, dumbbells, if you don't have dumbbells, you can use water bottles. Um, I also have a Pilates ball to squeeze if you don't have that, which you probably don't. You can always use a pillow. Um, so we're going to start. We're going to warm up. Shoulders back and down. Engage your core. Hold on to the side of the chair if you need to. And we're just going to march it out. Okay? One, two, three, four, five. So hold on, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You're gonna kick your butt behind you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. Let's get the upper body warmed up. Roll your shoulders back. Three, four, five. Roll it forward. Two, three, four, five. Good. Grab your hands behind you. Stretch out your chest. Good. Grab your hands in front and round that upper back. Good. Reach up if you can and open it up. You're going to just raise your arms up and down. Inhale as you come up through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. We'll do about five. One more. Good. Arms out to your side. You're going to raise your palms up and down. One, two, three, four, and five. Good. So we're pretty much warmed up. We're going to stand behind the chair. You can hold on. And we're going to do some lateral leg lifts. So one, Two, out to the side, engage your core. Try not to lean. Four, let's do ten. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, back four, eight, eight, nine. Good. So now we're going to work the glutes or the butt. So we're going to kick, do kickbacks. So you're going to hold on to the chair and you're just going to squeeze your butt and lift your leg behind you. I'll show you here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Let's work the other leg. Same thing. You can stand behind it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. Shake it out. We'll do some heel raises, strengthening your ankles. So make sure you hold on if you need to. You're going to come up on the balls of your feet and down. I'll show you on the side. Up and down. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, keep raising it up, nine, ten. Good. So toe raises, also stretching out your shins and your ankles. So you're going to lift up and down. Two, three, keep your chest up. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. So let's practice. 
us a little balance. So once again, make sure you have your chair there if you need it. Um, shoulders back and down, core engaged. Hold on to the chair on the side and you're gonna raise up that left knee. Okay, you're gonna engage your core, soft bend in that knee that you're standing on. And let's try and hold it for a count of 10. Now you can try and hold on with one finger or you can try and let go, but just make sure that you have the chair there to help you. Or you can just hold on the whole time. Good. Engage that core. If it's too hard holding it in front, you can also hold that knee behind you or your foot behind you. Good. Let's try the other side. Raise it up. Engage your core, shoulders back and down, hold it. Once again, if it's too hard lifting it up in front, you can just lift your foot behind you. Just like that. Good. Time. So try and work your way up. Start with 10 seconds, maybe work your way up to 20 seconds. So we're going to come to the chair. Um, and we're going to practice a couple exercises getting in and out of the chair, which is really important. So weight is on your heels, feet hip width apart, hands in front. You can either hold your hands in front like that or across your chest. You're going to push through your heels and come up, squeeze your butt. That's one. Okay. Two. Good. Three. Four, really squeeze your butt on the way up. Five, if you have a cane or handles, if you feel more comfortable on your chair, that's fine too. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. All right, so let's work the legs a little bit. We're going to do a leg extension while you're seated. So your thighs are parallel to the floor. You're just, you can hold onto your chair if you feel comfortable. The key here is to keep your chest up, shoulders back and down, back nice and flat. And you're gonna extend that right leg out and in. Let's do that 10 times. Two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, keep that chest up, nine, and ten. Good. Other side. One. So extend that leg, flex that heel. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. So now we're just going to do a knee raise. Key here, once again, shoulders back and down. Try not to round that back. Keep that core engaged and chest up. So let's do the right leg. Come to the edge of your seat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, good, eight, keep moving, nine, ten, good. Shake it out for a sec. Left leg, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. So let's do a little hamstring stretch while we're here. So you can extend your right leg out, toes pointed up, nice and straight. Both hands on your left knee that's bent, shoulders back and down. You're going to hinge at the hips. Hinge. Try not to round your back. You want to hinge. So you should feel a nice stretch along your hamstring. Hold it. Good. Come on up and let's switch. Left leg extend out, extend out, toe pointed up. Both hands on your right knee. Hinge forward. Hold it. Good. Come on up. Okay. So moving along. Let's work the core a little bit. 
So I have a Pilates ball. If you don't, you can use just a pillow at home. So we're going to put the ball right between your knees, shoulders back and down. We're going to kind of work the core, okay? So you're going to squeeze the ball, engage your abs, and hold for 10 seconds. We'll do that five times, okay? Remember, don't hold your breath. Breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth. If you want to make it a little harder, you can raise your hands up out to the side, okay? So ready? Here we go. Squeeze. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Relax. Make sure you keep breathing. Squeeze again. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. One, relax. Three more. Squeeze. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Relax. Two more. Squeeze. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Relax. One more. Ready? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, four, three, two, one. Awesome. Great job. All right. So let's start working the upper body. Okay. So let's start with a push up. Um, we're going to use the wall. So you're going to come to the wall. Once again, shoulders back and down. Keep that body nice and straight. Okay. Hands about a little bit wider than your shoulders. Okay right across your chest line. And you're gonna keep that body nice and straight. You're gonna lower yourself to the wall and then push it away. Let's do 10. Push, two, keep that body nice and straight. Three, don't let that back or butt stick out. And four, five, to make it harder, step back, easier step forward. Six, seven, Eight, nine, and ten. Good. So let's do a little chest stretch. Grab your hands behind you, stretch out your chest. Remember, push ups using your chest, front shoulders, and your tricep. So that's pushing. Let's do some rowing or pulling. So let's grab one of your weights or your water bottle. Shoulders back and down. Your left arm is going to come on your chair. You're going to step back with the right foot, okay? You're going to hinge at the hips, and you're going to row and pull. Keep that neck in line with your spine, shoulders back and down, and pull. Two, three, exhale when you pull. Four, I'll show you this way. Five, six, Seven, squeeze that back. You're working your back and bicep muscles. And 10, good. Come on up. Let's come to the other side. Hold on to the chair. Step back with the left foot. Remember, you're hinging forward, nice flat back. Shoulders back and down and row. One, and squeeze. Two, three, four, Five, six, seven, exhale when you pull, eight, nine, and ten. Good. So come on up. Grab the other water bottle or weight if you have. Um, we're going to try and work the upper back a little bit. So shoulders back and down. You're going to hold the water bottles, okay? Just like this. Palms kind of facing each other. Elbows are stuck to your side. And you're just going to open. Shoulders back and down and close. Two. That's it. Three. Don't forget to breathe. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Soft knees. Eight. And you can always do the seated too if it's to any of these exercises. Nine and ten. Good. So shoulders, you can do this standing, or if you feel more comfortable seated, you can do it seated too. Shoulders back.